<laughs> right on the nose. 701. <laughs> Who won? I won. 701. <laughs> you won. I won. Ah, mm. uh, have you guys seen me on TikTok yet? <laughs> just started. Uh, in the first two days, boy, it just took off and then it slowed down. And so it takes like work, I guess, like everything else. And it's a different, uh, um, yeah, just the number is a lot bigger than Facebook. I use Facebook mostly now uh, for advertising and, you know, promoting and let people know that we're here. So I don't have to buy advertising. I mean, I always hated that. <laughs> Buying advertising. That's why in the beginning, I mean, when I started businesses, I, I, I would never buy advertising. I did in the beginning when I was foolish and young because <laughs> people said, oh, you have to buy advertising. So I go out and save money, borrow money, steal money, whatever I could to buy the advertising. Nothing would work. And then I said, well, this is crazy, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to start a business, make money, and I got to spend all this money. So since then, uh, I always find a way to get advertising for nothing. And then before social media, I mean, this is back in the 90s, I guess it is, maybe even the 80s, you know, I was selling books to the general public. And it depends on what your mar who your market is and what it is. But at that time, you know, for selling books, what you did is you did talk shows. That's how people learned about books. And doing a talk show was free. So if you can get on a talk show, uh, you don't have to pay anything. <laughs> Some of them even paid you <laughs> because you're entertainment. Yeah? And, and, and that was sort of interesting. Uh, and, and it was, and then I said, whoa, how could I do this more? And it's a numbers game. It's like marketing or getting a, a customer or anything. You just call 100 TV stations until somebody says yes. And then uh, the more people say yes, the more stations you call, and then it just builds momentum. Uh, and that's what it is. So when I started, you know, working, doing the, you know, after nobody bought reference books anymore and I had to start a whole new business and, and then nobody, you know, how to sell it, how to buy it, how whatever. Um, I, I'm convinced that it wasn't in a way to, to and, and nobody did talk shows anymore, at least the way I did them or anything. So that wasn't available to me. I guess it is, but uh, now with social media, they're like talk shows. Everybody needs, you know, something there. I mean, don't forget every blog that's out there wants to interview somebody. So if you know a better way to cook pancakes, yeah, you could call the shows that are, <laughs> you know, on... Uh, uh, doing podcasts on food to get them to interview you and they got a an audience of people who love uh, food and you're going to tell them how to make pancakes on your car or something like that and you have video instructions to sell them man you know then you they'll interview you for a half hour you know not buy one minute commercial that's what used to amaze me i used to go on a lot letterman used to use me a lot and larry king a lot uh, when somebody canceled that's how I always say, oh, who am I substituting for? What big store star stuffed them at, at the last minute? Uh, and they call me, man, I'd go anywhere, anytime. If you give me national airtime, <laughs> I'm on a plane and I'm there. And I, I remember sitting there on, on Letterman once and said, God, look, I'm getting seven minutes. That's usually a guest that has about seven minutes. And uh, I'm getting this for free because I act like a crazy fool, you yeah? And... And we'd stop in the middle of seven minutes for somebody to have a commercial. And, and the commercial, the guy had probably paid $50,000 or something, you know? And I'm getting for free because the, the camera goes for the weird guy, you know? Uh, that's why uh, Trump never paid for any, anything when he was running for president. He didn't have to, you know? The camera came because he was outrageous and said weird stuff. And, the media likes that. So it's using your environment. That's what it is. How do you use your environment to your, uh, <coughs> uh, you know, to, to help you? You know, they have a need, but you have to understand that, use it, and how do you use it to f fulfill your need? You know, uh, and that's what it is. Because if most of us just say, well, I have to advertise. Why, why do you say that? Well, because everybody says it. See, <laughs> that's not a reason. <laughs> the people are telling you that you have to advertise, so the people want your advertising money, right? So they, they spend their whole day thinking about 
how you can make a million dollars with buying their advertising. Uh, and then when I learned about uh, getting free advertising and getting people to write me up and having, you know, interesting ideas that they'd write up about, yeah, uh, and that was free. Um, because if I bought something and I buy, I get tricked into it all the time and buy ads and it never pay off because what it's worth to them probably isn't worth to you. So you have to find that out. And if you don't have money, you have to find out without money, <laughs> not spending all money, finding a hundred things that don't work before you find the one thing that will work. And nobody has that kind of money. If you're a fat cat, then it doesn't matter. But if you're not, you're struggling, you know, to start your idea, start your business or whatever. Um, you, you can't do it that way, you know, because you, you won't be in business long enough. It takes time to figure it out. And if you're spending money all the time, uh, you won't figure it out. And, and that's, uh, I'm trying to think of anybody. Oh yeah, okay, hey. Where are starter grants for a hot shot business? <laughs> Yolanda, how are you? Oh, you're a member, great. I love you everywhere you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, did I, say, I remember answering some of your stuff, Yolanda. Uh, Jasmine, hi, hey, how are you? I'm trying to start my small home based business. Can you point me in the right direction? Well, it depends. Should I get an LLC? No, I mean, you don't need an LLC. You don't need to be incorporated. You don't need anything. The only thing you really need in business is a customer. Forget everything else. <laughs> I mean, somebody will talk you into it, you know, and some lawyer will tell you, oh, they're going to take your child and all this kind of stuff, which is nonsense. Uh, I mean, there's a sliver of truth, but it, it, your chances of happen that, you know, is probably getting hijacked on an airline is, or being killed on the beltway. <laughs> you have a bigger chance of that happening. Yeah? Uh, so don't worry about that. Just go out and figure out how to get customers. Uh, don't figure out how to get money. Um, because, well, I need it for advertising. No, you don't, because you have to find out other ways. Sure you do, because you don't, haven't found out those other ways yet. But if you find out those other ways, then you don't need money for advertising. And you're gonna spend six months trying to find a big grant for advertising, and then it won't work, because you don't know your stuff well enough to make it work yet. Uh, so you have to learn. Unincorporated association is the way to go. Yeah, well, it, it depends. I mean, the real answer is a friend, but if it's small and you're starting, you know, just don't waste time and money doing anything but getting a customer. Even if you have to give free speeches at the library or stand out in the street corner, you want to ask people uh, for money for your product um, or service or whatever. You, know, you, you sign up on all the gig economy things, you know, where if you want to do accounting or something. So now you're a freelance accountant. And all those platforms where you go hire freelance accountants, you put your name up there. You know, and it doesn't cost you anything. You just do that. Now, you don't mess with the IRS, okay? So you keep track of, you know, the easiest thing to do is just get a separate uh, bank account for your business, put all the money in there <laughs> and all the spending out of there, yeah. And, and then as long as you don't mess with the IRS, everything else is, is solvable. And, and anybody else, it'll take you three years for them to find you. For house, try the contact. Uh, they help you more than, yeah, no, 211 is great. And the other thing is, and using 211 or find help is another one, is to call those people, not, not call 211, call the people like in, who are in there on starting a business. And when you call somebody on starting a business or whatever, don't tell them you want a grant. Don't tell them you want money to start a business. Everybody wants money for a business. They can't be helpful to you that way because they, they probably don't have grants themselves or they have other things that uh, are not called grants but are money and help like contracts that you're gonna miss out. So when you do that, what you wanna do uh, is just say, I need help starting my business. That's all, you don't get into the details because you don't know what's out there. Uh, it, it is like um, going out looking for a date and you only wanna date blonde women under 5'7". <laughs> yeah. you're missing a lot of good stuff when you do that and, and so you, you don't do that uh, and, and because you don't know what the world is uh, you're guessing on a little bit of information that you know and the thing that what you have to do be is a, oh, uh, what I found out it's a nice name is a uh, a scout you know 
You know, like in the military, they have a scout. They send out a bunch of guys, you know, uh, before they make an attack to go out and see the stuff and what, who's where and what and everything. And then they come back and tell the general what to do and send people over here and send people over there, whatever, before you make an attack, you know, instead of just charging in the front door, you know. How do I become a member of your program? Oh, thanks, Mom. No, that's not Mom. <laughs> uh, Lescohelp.com. That's twenty dollars. And what we do, the most important thing about Lesco Help, oh, the two things. One is that we give you personal help to apply to every grant in the United States, city, county, state, uh, and nonprofit. So every grant that's out there, we'll help you find and apply to, okay? We don't actually fill out the applications. Uh, you know, $20, you know, <laughs> we can't clean your windows too. Uh, and so there's part of what we do, are we're on sources. We tell you where the sources are, the grants. Because otherwise, if you don't have us, you're gonna go and, and go Google and look for grants. And you're gonna be overwhelmed and, and spend three months there and still not get anything. So what we do, you come to us, uh, and, and investment properties, yes. Uh, and we show you, okay, for your state, these are the places you go to get money for investment properties in your state. Okay, and we give you the list or whatever. Now, if there's a problem with that or you need more after that, then just come back and ask us for more, okay? We tell you, you know, we give you directions on how to call them, what to do, and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, and that's what you need. See, and that's $20, that's a big... Uh, uh, or that's a little amount of money, and that's a, but we could do it. I and mean, surprise, we are doing it. We're profitable. So what we're also doing is the profit we make uh, on the twenty dollars is, and you can ask us a hundred times a day too. So the profit we make on twenty dollars, we give back to you as a member. Uh, we have grants every month just for members. Okay, dental implants, yes. Okay, see now that's not somebody asks, oh, I need dental implants. Okay, you're going to go and I, I don't know. Uh, go around in circles for a couple months on Google, find nothing, but you come to us and we say, what state are you in? Okay, here are all the sources, and there may be 30 sources uh, that give free or low-cost dental care to people in your state. None of those advertise. See, that's the key. None, they're not, you never find them in Google or whatever. You know? uh, so we give you the list. Now, then it takes work on your part. You have to go through that list, contact the people, you know, and you don't search Google for them unless they tell you, oh, go to Harry Schwartz at the Center for, you know, giving people my teeth got org. You know, okay, now you have the real website that helps you and then you could use Google. <laughs> but if you're just looking for help, because <laughs> the only help you're going to find in Google <laughs> is people want to get your money <laughs> for something. Uh, Ruth, oh, nice. Oh, I mean, that's right. Ruth, you're going to keep me working till I can't lift a, an eyelid. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it just hearing that is, is energy, it's love, it's everything. And I appreciate it so much. Uh, Jasmine, yeah, see, I mean, it, it just, I, I have nothing better in my life to do than to try to figure out how to help you with whatever you have. And I could use what I know and and like I had a, uh, some, uh, a member uh, trying to get a friend of her, his uh, daughter a grant to go to school or something like that. And then I sat down, did some research. Okay, it was for journalism. Okay, now what was neat, I found the journalist professional societies. Now, see, if you put in, I want to uh, study journalism, <clears throat> I'm looking for scholarship. What you're going to do, if you Google that, you're going to get all these sources <coughs> that are really trying to sell you something else. So they just slap together something so they're on the internet and they show up. Now they're either gonna get your name and sell your name or get your uh, name and sell you something else because you're interested in that. I don't know, maybe insurance or, you know, what the hell people sell today is crazy. But, uh, and because you're going to school, then you need going to school insurance. <laughs> All that. No, 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 you can't do work that way. You got to look, if you're going to use Google, you look, first of all, for only .gov, G-O-V, or .org. That means these people uh, with .gov or .org do not have any other motive, or it's a slight chance in hell that they do, uh, than getting money to you. See, if it's a .com, their only 
the reason to live is to get money from you. You're looking for, uh, if you don't have money, then you only want to talk to people whose reason to live is giving money to you, not getting money from you. See? So that's it. So uh, that's why to look for certain scholarships for someone in journalism. Well, I started looking for the journal, journal, journalism societies. And boom, boom there's two of them uh, that had nice listing of scholarships that are just set aside for uh, people who want to study journalism. And they were both .org, O-R-G, see? And that's it. Uh, the, the .coms, and uh, some of them sneak in as .orgs, and they're really going to sell your name, but uh, it, it's not as uh, money. Uh, uh, furry plants and coins. Oh, hey, Matthew, let's go. Hi. Uh, but that's, that, that's what it is. It's learning how to use the system. So that's why don't, you want to start a business and you think, oh, I need $100,000. Yeah, sure, because of what you know now, you need $100,000. If you went out and sort of got into the, uh, into the, you know, the weeds of starting a business like that, you will find out that may not be necessary. So you'll be wasting your time trying to find $100,000 when you probably don't even need it because there's more than one way to do that. But you don't know that and it takes a while. So that's why to get there, to understand that, and to get there where you know it enough that, hey, I don't need $100,000, I could do it this way, is just by talking to people, talking to people, not reading stuff on the internet. Reading stuff on the internet, remember, 9944 100% there is trying to sell you something. So everything is geared towards them getting money from you. And you can't do that. You have to find people whose only reason to being, they already get paid to help you. See, this is it. Uh, and I don't, I have to I rely on the kindness of strangers <laughs> and membership, yeah. Uh, and I would give it all away too, but my mortgage banker wouldn't like that. <laughs> uh, and so it, it, it is, and that's what's neat about the government world and nonprofit world. So we're set up as a society to, to help people uh, without money. And there's so many, but the rich people use them. People who have money use the hell out of this. This is how we found out about it. I was a consultant for Fortune 500 companies. I'd rather to talk to someone than stinking internet. Extre right. Now, uh, flurry plants and whatever, that's another thing about time. Now, I have a new report that I gave out free in the, uh, like two or three videos ago uh, on YouTube, and members tell me about it. It's, it's government offices uh, I have about seven or eight government offices. If you're looking for money, that all they do is do face-to-face -face meetings to help you get money, okay? So it's not the, on the internet. It's these people who get grant money. They already have their salary paid. And they, what they're supposed to do uh, is like customer service for the government grants. <laughs> But it's so complicated, government grants. There's seven different. It's this kind of grants or this kind of thing, you know, how to solve it. it depends on the kind. Of, so I've broken it all down by the tiny topic. If it's business, then it's here. You talk to people face to face for that kind of grant. If it's you know, your, your mortgage and rent, you're here. Then you talk to these people face to face to get that kind of grant. Yeah. Uh, if it's education and training, you talk to here. Yeah. And you get to if If it's daycare, you talk to this. Yeah. It, it, it is. Uh, different for everybody, you know. Um, I mean, I, I guess I'm the only one in the country who is probably general enough uh, to know for everything. There are so many online business opportunities these days. If you wanted to start an online business, YouTube, it's yeah, no, I, I believe, yeah, uh, all my businesses now, the first business, the first two businesses I started with money and failed. After that, the next two or three, no money to start. <laughs> I know around Rosie, Rosie, who's Rosie? Uh, around the rosy. Oh, I see in Google, and there's never regarding stuff that's such listed about. Right, right. thanks for your information. How about people? It doesn't matter. SSI, um, uh, disability, a a anything. The, you know, some things you may not be eligible for. Some things you may. There's always going to be a yes or no to everything. Uh, and you can't let that, I would like to grant for a minority business. That's fine, that's okay, you know. Uh, but if you say, 
only those kind of grants, you're going to miss 80% of what's out there. So they're good to do, and don't ignore them, of course not, particularly if you're a minority. But uh, you like the father never had. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> no, he was a nice man. Uh, is it true you can get a T? What is it? Is it, uh, is it true anyone can start a nonprofit in New York City and get it funded? No. But anyone can. Everyone doesn't. Everyone can't get it. But anyone, everyone can. I mean, if you're not going to put in some work, your chances go down. There's a slighter, slighter chance of you getting it. The more work you put in, the more chance that you'll get it. But it doesn't take a million dollars. It doesn't take anything. But even before, see, before you want to be a nonprofit, you should first start getting a customer. Don't get, don't become a nonprofit. You don't know if you have to be one yet. What you do is you start, okay, you want a project. Say maybe you want to help veterans or something like that, okay, or homeless or anything. Okay, what you do is you find people who give money like that. And see, a lot of people who give money to help those situations, uh, waiting for United Way to call me back. Well, they may or may not. Don't count on anybody calling you back. <laughs> if they don't hear from in a day or two, you got to call them back again. Find other sources. You, you keep working it, man, because if you're waiting for one call to call you back and save your ass or uh, solve your problems, that ain't going to happen either. I mean, it may, and likely maybe sometimes will, but you, you can't work like that because you'll never get it done. Uh, you can't bet on things happening that haven't happened. <laughs> life, life is just too insecure. I go to the computer programming school for free because uh, of your book many years ago. See? All right. So why you go on Google, want to become a computer programmer, you go see all these schools that want to charge you $15,000 or whatever heck it is, and there's others that would be for free, right? But they take work and they won't call you up and have dinner with you and all that kind of stuff because these people aren't getting money from you. So you have to do the work to get money, uh, to, yeah, to get money from them. So that's why I say, and we're not used to that because we're all used to uh, people selling their product to us and kissing our butt because they want our money. You know, these people don't have to. They're going to get paid whether <laughs> they help you or not. Uh, and, and that's that's how you got to use the system. If you don't start using it that way, you know, then then you become what they call it, SOL, right? Uh, that nothing much is going to happen to you. You got to make things happen. Things don't happen to you because somebody else wants them to happen to you. Uh, you know, you, you have to make them happen. And, and it, it's all about activity. Um, and, and it's all about failure. Getting here late. Yes, Holly, you are late. You have two more times to be late on these, okay? And then I, I'm sorry, after that, if you went the third time, I don't know. I mean, we... we <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is free form, and uh, I'm late most of the time. <laughs> and and it's uh, you can watch it all anytime. <laughs> yeah, grounded, I see. Right, right. Uh, that was like kids. I don't think I ever grounded a kid. And we had two of them, and they I try to force them to get in trouble because uh, you know you live in a safe area or things like that. People think they have to follow all the rules, and uh, you really don't. <laughs> but you just have to take the consequences if it's wrong and you get caught yeah. um, and, and, and live up to that. But, but doing something is, and even if you don't know what to do, it doesn't matter. You know, all you have to know is that what you're doing now is not right. And if that isn't, if that is there, then it doesn't matter what you do next. You think it does because you want to have the perfect whatever, yada, yada, yada. But you don't know what perfect is. Uh, and, and so you just do any, and doing anything is better than doing nothing. So uh, it's a huge step up, no matter what it is. If it fails or doesn't fail or whatever, that's a huge step up and you have to do that. Don't wait for the perfect because there isn't perfect and people don't buy perfect anyway. You know? You, th you want this perfect, you're probably, nah, when was the last time you bought something perfect? <laughs> Look at all the crap we all buy. No, you just have to go out and start selling and something, try and see who wants something. You know, you're a human and they're just humans. No, there's no magic to this stuff. 
it is, you know, it, it's energy, it's effort, it, it's trying and failing. You know, it, it's, that's why business plans are the stupidest thing they have in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody says they want it, and that's fine. If somebody was going to give you money if you give them a business plan, dude, give them a business plan. What the hell? It's not going to mean anything anyway. <laughs> you can be grounded with Holly. Holly's grounding, grounded people, Holly, <laughs> seeing what I'm doing wrong. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, it's like learning to swim sitting in a classroom. No, you get in the goddamn water. Yeah, that's the only way you got to learn how to swim. You know, everybody wants to have an expert teaching you how to swim before you get in the water. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You know, just have a crazy ass idea, go out and try to get a customer, and it'll fail. That's okay, but you'll get that out of your head. And that will make you smarter for the next time. Okay, that didn't work, now what? So now you, you keep building on that, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, stupid smartphone. <laughs> you know, he's got me held up, uh, up with mortgage payments. Illinois is going to help me up with mortgage payments, uh, I hear. Yes, Tim, did you apply yet? Apply. And actually, there's a lot. Now, they can't. They can't foreclose on you if you applied. You know, even if you didn't get the money, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, they just came out with the government saying that this is the law now for people who, who have your mortgage. They can't uh, foreclose on you if you applied. You didn't have to get the money, you just apply. So that's why you go out and apply. You apply to everything. The name of this game is apply, apply, apply. Do you work with SORP company? I don't know what SORP is, David. Uh, Trevino. I was a Played golf when Lee Trevino was a golfer. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you can't swim, then float. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just apply. When in doubt, apply. Man, what the hell? You know, the worst case is you don't have anything. You don't have anything now. So what's the difference? You have nowhere to go but up. Same way with starting anything. You know, your business. Okay, you, you don't have all, all the perfect stuff you need. That's okay. You just see if anybody will give you money for what you have now. <laughs> just build from there and see. Yeah, you know, that's called bootstrapping, and people do that. I do it all the time too. And, and because if you're trying to build the Sistine Chapel before you let people give you five dollars, I mean, Matthew, I have to check on that uh, info you just uh, did about Toledo. Hopefully, it's not like some other one I've looked into where they have have to be behind in rent. Well, some do, some don't. That's a, you just keep looking. And, and if that doesn't work, and then uh, if it's rent you're looking for, then uh, if the emergency rental program where you is are you know doesn't apply to you or whatever, then uh, and also so there are different rules like the emergency rent. Some will play forward rent, some will play backward rent, or some some will be this much, some will be that. It's all different. Everybody has local. And now, but there's also more than one program where you live and you have to find those others. And that's by going and doing a lot of telephone work. So you get on that 211 or that find help, you put in rent and you see all the organizations in Ohio or wherever the heck you are that help people with rent. And you call every one of them. I know it sounds dreadful. I know it's hard. I know it's not rewarding at first, <laughs> but that's what you have to do. Because otherwise, they're not going to call you. You don't know what the, is out there. You're guessing. So you have to go out there and get that intelligence. And the more intelligence you get, this is uh, what it all is. You have to go out there and find. Two on one is in my area, but you know what it is. Okay, that's good enough. That's the same thing. Uh, there's only a couple of places that two on one is not. I think, it's, and they use 311. <laughs> but United Way is fine. If they have the database of all the nonprofits. Uh, and, and that's cool. Uh, and also findhelp.org is 211, a little fancier in my mind. Uh, but you cannot call Find Help. You call the people in it, but you can't like call an operator who, who has access to all the 211s. Yeah. And, and they're not, they don't know enough about all that stuff to really help you much. Anyway, they can point you to the obvious stuff, and they're worth calling. But if they don't have an answer for you, then you look at the uh, items in 211 under that topic. I'm doing something right, I get you here. <laughs> uh, under that topic, and you start calling those organizations because those organizations help other people. The biggest stumbling block is that the rent is up to date, so I, I let it get behind. You, know, you ask them, every program runs differently, so. You ask them, see what that, if that makes sense, you know? 
uh, because you you have to you know call them up and say something. Well, I, I have to judge what I pay. Can I get that rent if I have to pay this other thing, a car payment, and not be able to make that rent or something like that? You know, and see what they say. I I don't know. Nobody knows except the people who give you the money. Anybody else, me or anybody else, need to relocate. Okay, uh, me or anybody else is just guessing. So we don't know. And the people, you want to get the real answer, you talk to people giving you the money. Because that's the only way you're going to know for sure. The rest of us or anybody on the internet telling you what happens, what happens, no. Then you have to check it out for sure and talk to the horse's mouth. And that's people giving the money. <laughs> so that is the most important thing to do. Is who gives you the money? Uh, yeah, anybody else. I mean, I'm guessing. And things change every day. See, that's another thing. Everything. They have new programs every single day. You know, I just found, you know, three new ones for rental. You know, that, that just started. They had the money for 12 months or more. Uh, and now they're starting to give out the money. Wow. Uh, or, see, the other thing that's happening is... States and cities and everything got a lot of COVID money that they haven't used yet. So they have to go through their process to figure out how to spend it. They have to decide how to spend it. In other words, it's sort of like open, uh, open source money. They could do it any way they want. The Community Action Agency, that's a good place. Good place that gives you the good one-on-one -on -one help, face-to-face uh, -face help. Uh, so they don't know how to spend it. So they have to make a, they have to go through the legislature, you know, the voters and uh, the elected officials, uh, and they decide, well, when they make a decision, like uh, Minneapolis just decide, or Minnesota decide to use some of that extra money to give like $7,500 to people who need childcare, okay? So that means now, now that's just sort of almost passed through, it's gonna be passed soon. And then there'll be an extra $7,500 for people who need childcare in Minnesota. And that even even started yet. But the law is there, you know, and it's almost finished becoming a law. And they don't take another month, two, three, whatever it is, to get out there. And that's new money. That's still the COVID money that they're doing. You know, uh, you know New York just decided to give money to um, people who've been incarcerated with marijuana to get like $100,000 to start a marijuana business. You hear that? <laughs> and, and they did this with the COVID money, too. They just have so much money. They're just trying to find problems to solve. And so people, you know, so it's minorities, low-income people. Uh, they want to, who were incarcerated under the so-called unfair marijuana laws, you know, uh, to give them a chance to make money from it now instead of just being in jail from it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that sort of, you know, who'd have thought? Yeah, you know? it, it, it just changing too fast. And we live by what we know in our head. That really, what state am I know of a person? New York, New York is doing that. And it's even more than that because they're taking, even if you want to put it in Manhattan, a store. I mean, it probably takes a half a million dollars. I don't know. Uh, 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 million people are a minority on the planet. Remember that? Melaniated. Mel I'm not sure what that word is. I'm not very good in English. <laughs> I'm a good talker. Nope, Ohio. Ohio, oh, something else I guess they're talking about. Uh, so all those programs that are there, Florida, for the rent money, man, it's like pulling teeth, you know. Uh, they have been screwing up so much down there. I don't know if it's, it's the governor that just doesn't want to, let loose of the money or whatever. <laughs> and that's why when stuff like that gets stuck, you gotta go to your elected official. Your elected official is the only one that could shake that stuff loose, okay? What grants are available in West Virginia? Well, there's about 17,627, I think, uh, in West Virginia. Most states have more, but they have about 17,627. Uh, now, see, I know why you answer that, because it's a natural question to ask, but it, it's, uh, it doesn't work. 
<laughs> it's an impossible question to answer. It's a nice question to ask, but an impossible question to answer. What the hell are you gonna do with 17,000 uh, grants, right? Uh, so what we do is show you, okay, depending on what you want the grant for, these are the places in West Virginia or in any state that are most likely to have a grant for you for your situation. So like housing or something, okay? There's like two dozen offices in, in West Virginia and every state, and probably more in other states, of course, uh, that possibly have money. So that's what you have to do because those things are changing every day, every hour or whatever. You can't keep up on a, a small business like us. Well, that we'd have to have a budget like NASA <laughs> to keep up on that stuff. So no, what we do is tell you the source. Oh, go to letsgohelp.com. And I put up a video there because what we're doing is showing you sources. And I believe in sources. And so what I do, what you I have Darth Vader wishing you, let the source be with you. <laughs> because that's what I want to do. I want to give everybody a source. I can give them the, the actual application. They're changing all the time and who knows where they can't. It's too complicated to do that. But if you know the sources, man, you know, that's what you need to know. So where in West Virginia or Ohio or Florida, wherever the hell you live, these are the sources, that's what we have. And if you want just that and you don't want to join us, you go to Let's Go Reports. Let's Go Reports. And that's dot com. And there for $5.95, so instead of paying $20. But actually, if you jo join for $20, you can ask us a thousand questions a day and get all those reports for free. But people just don't like subscriptions or whatever. So uh, if you want that for $5.95, you just get the report you want for your state. Bim, bam, thank you, ma'am. You have everything there in your state that could help you start a business. That's all you need. You're on your way, okay? And so that's why I'm, I'm trying to, uh, people need different things, different ways. We all learn differently. We all uh, are in different levels of knowledge and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so that's why we have that or oh, whatever. One wounded for a purpose. <laughs> We're all wounded, man. <laughs> We're all struggling. Bitter memory for almost two or three. Wow. Wow. I wonder what your real name is. F furry coins? <laughs> well, I hope you use it. Keep asking questions. If you remember, uh, you, you get the best out of this by asking a question. Hey, where do I find this? And I get the best out of you. Oh, Tina. Uh, but I also see you as Tina, right? Somewhere else. Um, and, and that's why I, because if I don't have a, an answer already, then I go out and look for it. And that, that makes me smarter and better. So you make me better person by uh, uh, asking me questions. And the ones I don't know uh, are more enjoyable, you know, because then I have to stretch and figure out how to answer it. You know, um, and we're, we're all here to help each other. And to me, business is like making love. Uh, you can't, it's, a good lover doesn't have to be told what to do because we don't have enough language in ourselves. I want this, like, well, here, I, I, uh, I want all the grants in West Virginia. Well, you don't. <laughs> because I, I would just, bring up a truckload and you know, you're overwhelmed and you can't do anything. Uh, so that's why it is knowing enough and your heart has to talk to each other so that you're open enough and understanding enough of what they really need instead of just believing what they say because I don't know about you, but I don't have enough language to explain my needs. And, uh, and it changes all the time and we're, we're, all walking wounded too. So there's that part of it. Um, and that's why everybody who joins too, I try to remember, remember rem, remind everybody, you're here to help other people too. Not only yourself, but then that's how you learn too. And that's how you grow is by helping other people and, and seeing what they need and trying that. And then they come back and say, no, this is wrong because of this. And then, oh shit, never thought of that. Yeah. And that's how we all grow. We, it, it's, we all have to learn to walk every day. And the only way you learn to walk is by putting one foot forward and falling on your butt for a hundred times until you learn 
balance and all that other stuff that makes it happen. Otherwise, you know, you're going to sit and wait for something to happen to you. You got to get up there and start walking, start calling, start, uh, you know, investigating. Uh, I'm in Minnesota and was denied. What was that in Minnesota? You were denied. Oh, uh, get your help personally. I miss it. Was denied the last bit of COVID funds, and I'm four months behind. Four months behind what? In rent? Okay, in Minnesota, if you're behind in rent or mortgage, you go to yeah. You know, uh, there's two national uh, programs. So one for rent is called Emergency Rental Assistance, and the one for mortgage is called Housing. Housing. <laughs> H-U-F, H-U, oh, God. Uh, What's well, a national program called? Go, go to your state housing finance agency in Minnesota. State housing finance agency. They will have lists for, they should, because the National Association has it, so they should have it for the state. Your state housing finance agency, they'll have it for a rent and for mortgage. They're two different programs. There'll be two different people in uh, Michigan, maybe at the county level, maybe a single one. It depends even where in Michigan. Uh, but they'll have sources there. You call them. If for some reason you're not eligible for those, then you have to go to 211 and then dot, uh, 211.org and then findhelp.org. And you go to both of those websites and you you put in rent if it's rent and mortgage if it's you put in housing if it's mortgage. Uh, Holly, none yet this year. Uh, and you call those agencies. You, you get on, get the list, start on the first one, call them and say, hey, I'm in trouble with my rent. Do you have anything to help me? And if you don't, can you suggest somebody else? Call the next one. Hey, this is so-and-so and you know, me and my family are really screwed because we get, get rent and wondering if you have any sources of help or you have programs or whatever. Uh, and, and they'll say yes or no, whatever. They go down to the next one. It's like getting a job or, or asking someone to dance or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you go down the line. That's why the people were all in a line in the cotillion class or when I was in dancing class I went to as a little kid. <laughs> you know, the girls on one side and all the guys on the other side. Any help for association fees? I, uh, I fell behind. Oh, you mean housing? Yes, actually, the owner, I mean, the housing, uh, uh, I can't think of the name. But yeah, you call up your state housing authority. And the mortgage assistance has money for those two, for, for the, the fees for paying you know, condo fees and anything to do with, it. they have it for taxes, for property taxes and everything. So all that is in there uh, to do that. Uh, what, oh, I see, uh, something was missing. You know what guys, I don't know if I'm getting tired or what, but my voice is going down. Oh my goodness, Lee, Lee, that's not, hey, my kids are grown now. Oh, I see, maybe, Lee. Oh want to do when in Nebraska the governor turns away oh, a million for rent assistance who, who can I call call your elected official if they're doing something that's stupid because you're right I in Nebraska the what they they sent the money back yeah I mean uh, that's just but they may be able to get it back again so but it takes people voters calling and complaining and if you don't do that they're not going to bother they'll go on to another problem they think that's solved but if enough people call like you then, oh, okay, <laughs> I better do something or else I won't get elected next time, right? So that's what it is. I mean, you have to use the system and the system is there for all of us, yeah. Not for just the rich people. They figured out how to use it. That's why I used to charge thousands and thousands of dollars to do the same thing I'm doing now for 20. <laughs> they pay it because they're making fortune on it. <laughs> but I, I, it's no fun helping rich people. They don't have fun. They just want to make money and they don't care how. Uh, yeah, you're awesome, Melinda. Uh, well, okay, guys. Uh, thank you for putting up with me. Um, I enjoy it. I hope to be living another 10, 15 years and doing this every day. I'm a better person when I do this. So thank you.